Hi, second graders, here is Snow Day, written by Lester L. Lemonak. I think that's how you pronounce it. Illustrated by Adam Gustafsson. I love the illustrations in here. They make me really feel like I'm there in the story. Oh my gosh. Okay, Snow Day, and do you notice the punctuation? Usually in um, story titles, you don't have punctuation, right? You don't have periods in titles usually, but oh my gosh, snow days are exciting. An exclamation point seems like it fits right in, right? Okay, snow day! It makes you want to say the title with like excitement and emphasis, right? Did you hear that? Did the weatherman just say what I thought he did? Did he say snow? Look, it's in bold. Why do you think the author chose to make snow bold and in all capital letters? Because it's exciting, right? Oh, please let it snow lots and lots of snow. Look at the sky. I can feel it in the air. We're getting snow tonight for sure. Just imagine so much snow, even the buses can't go. No, so much snow, even the teachers can't go. a snow day. Do you know what that means? No alarm clock ringing. No one saying time to get up. No one shouting. Hurry or you'll be, or you'll be late. No. School. I can't wait. Tomorrow we'll have a PJ day. We'll pile on the sofa and snuggle under that old blue blanket and we'll sip hot chocolate from giant snowman mugs. Oh, look at the cute snowman mugs. We'll stay inside warm and cozy while the snow drifts down in soft white heaps. Look out the window. It's spitting snow. I hope it snows a foot deep. I hope the snow piles up to the top of the steps. I hope there's so much snow we can't even open the door. No school for sure. <laughs> have you, do you have a text to self connection with this? Have you ever felt this hope that there's a snow day or the excitement about snow coming? I need a snow day, a day to play outside, a day to read my new book, a day to watch TV. Did you hear that? The weatherman said it's getting colder. Maybe we'll get two snow days. We've got to get ready. Where are those fuzzy mittens? What about the snow boots? We can build a snow fort, fort down by the walk. This time, let's make it two feet, no, four feet tall and stock up a zillion snowballs inside. kind of a cool perspective from up, a, up above, looking down at the sidewalk and the house. Isn't that cool? It's kind of like you're up in the snow. Whoa, look at that sky. Snow is falling like a bazillion goose feathers. Yippee, wonderful, amazing. We can't go snow. <laughs> oh, here's the one from the cover. The illustration, right? Where we put the sleds? Come on, help me bring them up. We'll go sledding on Mrs. Cope's field. The sleds will shoot down that hill. I know, I know, we should go to bed. Tomorrow's a big snow day. Good night, everyone. Sleep tight, everyone. We're building a snowman tomorrow. Say, what's that noise? Is it morning already? Do I hear kids on the street? We got to go out there and build our fort. Open the curtain and see what's going on. Look at all those kids bundled in coats and hats and mittens and boots and book bags. Oh, what happened to all that snow? Yikes, we have to hurry. There's no time to waste. Brush your teeth, wash your face, comb your hair, throw on your clothes. We've got to go. Wait, I forgot my books. Wait, where are the keys? Zip. Zoom, scoop, pile in the car. I can't be late. I'm the teacher. <laughs> Drat, I really needed a snow day. <laughs> so who was the narrator? Who was speaking? Didn't you think it was, it was the boy or the girl? One of, one of the kids the whole time? And, but who was the narrator? Who was the speaker? It was the dad. Who was also the teacher? <laughs> Snow day. All righty. So fun.